Hey there, welcome back to Kim McDonald Studios where I went a little crazy with color today. <laughs> well, it all started out with two or three colors that I thought, you know, this, oh yeah, and this, and you know how it goes. Anyway, it's just going to be another quick one and done, so a one layer pour with lots of fun colors together, and God, I could get into all of these colors, but it would take forever, but basically the gist of it is the most ones that I'm really accenting here are going to be from the Lesser Art Pigments from color art boom boom this one actually this tiger's eye or tiger eye I haven't used this one yet and I was kind of curious about it and I had been wanting to do a base with uh, some really cool rose gold spray paint that I had and so I thought well this will be cool this is gonna come off because it, it's such big chunks this is gonna come off really really sparkly more more so like glitter than actual deep pigment so that over this i thought would be really cool oh it already is <sighs> okay so anyway it started from there and it grew so yes i took a picture and one thing i'm going to do um because this is going to be a one and done i'm not going to just put all the colors in different cups and go one at a time i'm going to do a dirty pour with this today and between the layers as i'm putting my colors in i'm going to do clear between each color and see what we get so let me go get my resin together and we'll get started.
believe we're back and all cured but I'm not in love with it I mean this color <laughs> it's this color and it's not the color's fault it's my fault because I'm so in love with this color I tend to over pigment when I'm using it I mean, you can't really see it from there but you've seen it in the cup when it's got the, when it's in the resin and how gorgeous it is so I just have to learn I have a new mantra that I have to back off of the clementine but it's gorgeous you can see that here most of this is clementine and you saw there at the end that I tried to come in with like what was left of the red raspberry to kind of create some kind of focal point in here and they were just all so close that well you know what I will bring you down here and we'll take a look at this real quick okay so like I said it's not horrible and there's some really amazing small areas in here like this baiting that you see here and I know it won't translate onto the camera but it's pretty much 3D because there's clear or colored resin on top with stuff going on in the background that's really cool. And then this over here is really like opal-esque. It's just got a really cool opal type look to it. And that up there, that is the, uh, the tiger eye. And it's a beautiful color. Matter of fact, all of these are beautiful colors. But all together like this, it, it doesn't do much for me. So we are gonna do another layer. Okay, so what I'm going to do this time, we're bringing back the tiger eye, which is this color. We're bringing back the red raspberry, which is this color, and it's actually yummy. And we're going to bring back the clementine, but in really just honest, honest, just a little tiny bit. And what I'm going to do, because the green that I used was not the proper green, it was metallic, it was too light. I even added some um, pigment to it to kind of hopefully, I don't know, opaque it up a little bit to help out. And the biggest mistake that I made was I was going to use black, but at the last minute I grabbed the white instead and thought, oh yeah, that'll be fine. Well, the white does show up barely here. And I'm almost feeling that if black had been in this, we would have had something a little bit more engaging. So what I'm going to do, since that green didn't work, is I'm just going to use some, some art resin green in this. And I'm going to bring in, instead of black, I'm not going to go that straight out. I'm going to go to brown. So I'm going to put some, uh, some brown in this. That and what I'm gonna do is go back to the original plan, which was to make some of these colors up, but sandwich them between clear resin in a cup and then pour it out. So I'm gonna be a little more true to that method as we get into the second pour.
Okay, after one more overnight and one more layer, here we are. There's some really pretty parts to this. Again, not in love with it though. This is gonna need at least one more layer. But I don't have it in me. <laughs> so this one's gonna probably do what I do with pieces like this. It goes to another area where I can still see it. I've got my eyes on it at all times. It's in the studio. And I just have to wait for in inspiration to spark and decide exactly what I'm going to end up doing with this piece. So what we ended up with is a two layer, really nice background. <laughs> but I mean, it's not a total loss, but I will say this. Uh, I had never tried a resin dirty cup pour, and I think that's going to do it for me. It's just not my style. So I'll end up putting some different kinds of layers over this and see what we end up with after that. So, but thanks for coming along. I'm gonna do something really fun next week. Something inspiring. I'm gonna, I gotta make a plan. And I'll see you there.